Discount Bourbon Review! And then I can go ahead and start telling them the amazing story about the pin hook that we have here today. Uh, we've done some other pin hook videos, so we'll keep it light on the origin story for the uh, full review today. But there's a gentleman, he buys horses, ages them up, hopes that they get better. That's called pin hooking. He's doing the same thing with barrels. He's buying barrels, aging them up, hoping they get better. We have had the uh, Bourbon Resolve Expression, their 2023 High Proof, but here in the Wine and Market lineup that we're doing today, we're able to get our hands on the six year, 107 proof War Resolve. He, uh, or the War Series. They're doing a War Series. They started six years ago from 2021 to 2015, pardon the fast math. They'll finish it in 2027. And each year he gains another year of age as well. So last year, or uh, 2019, 2020, they released the uh, five year. Here in 2023, this year, they should be releasing that eight year. Yeah. By the time we get to 2027, they're releasing their 12 year. Super excited about that. I know, super exciting story. But we've got the six year in front of us right now. Wow, he's got some almost maple syrup notes right up front. I definitely get a sweetness. I'm not getting a whole lot of maple off of them. You really? You're not in the maple territory? Because I think it's Floral different definitely. than that like young caramel that you'll smell in some other products, especially that yeah. benchmark we just did. Yeah, no, I agree with that, but... I get sweetness, I get floral. I wouldn't say grassy, but... I'd say it's very sweet and a little less on the floral side. Uh, someone described Weather Green to me as having honeysuckle flavors the other day. I've and that, you know, now that I'm water. now that I'm thinking about the word honeysuckle while I'm smelling things like this, it doesn't quite hit that same floral note for me. It's all in more developed sugars. But it's really more about how it sip, huh? She sips real nice. I'll tell you what, brother. For 107 proof, I know that we've been going up here in the line. But he's real light. He doesn't stick around for very long. There's almost no... No interaction on mid-palate, no. really. He kind of just goes right from tip of your tongue to the back of your throat. Yeah. And he doesn't really bloom up in your chest like some of these higher proof whiskeys can. Of course, if you're just getting started in your journey, sometimes even 80 proof whiskeys can do that. So you'll have to check our video on how to uh, taste whiskeys and how to start working way up in proof if that's something you even want to do. He's very interesting. I get a lot more spices on the palate than I do in the nose. A little bit of black pepper, anise, things like that. Now that I've had that first sip and I've kind of been re-exposed to him, I gotta agree, I'm starting to get a lot of those characteristics as well. The nose does open up a little bit. Yeah, the nose has opened up a little now that I've, I've kind of sampled him and it's changing the flavors. I'm getting a lot less of that maple syrup than I originally thought. I was kind of hoping he'd open up to it for me because that sounds really interesting in a whiskey smell. And I kind of want to, I want that. It's got to be looking after that uh, Widow Jane Decadence. Oh, no. I don't know. I just need to get my hands on a bottle of Widow Jane. We just need to try it. That'd be great. It would be great. Yeah, It'd be fantastic. But we're broke discount bourbon boys. <laughs> yeah, he's fantastic. I really like him. Yeah. Mm. He's an easy sipper for sure. I don't think I'd be mixing him with anything. I just want to sit down and enjoy him. He's typically not on my side of the palate. I mean, we always talk, we like things just a little bit sweeter and he's just a little bit spicier. You know what I mean? But he's still very good. I could see myself coming back to him. Yeah, really sweet at the front of the palate. He kind of almost skips over mid palate in a wash. And then he kind of goes straight to that back of palate with a good little bit of spiciness, a little bit of, a little bit of heat, a little dragon breath in a way, but nothing too crazy. It's a good expression. Um, man, I would just be overjoyed to try the vertical lineup when they finish the one year through the you know, 12 year. Oh, yeah. I, I think it would be incredible to see how the horse runs its race. Yeah. No, I, would, I think that would be but absolutely amazing. As far as price in mind, we don't have a specific price on this bottle. Of oh. course, we were able to pick up these three nips from a wonderful person in the community at Wine and Market down in Lexington. Uh, they have an advent calendar, so if you are in Kentucky, go ahead and check that out. But I purchased oh, this pin oh. hook. I believe I ended up spending about 50, 60 range, somewhere in there. The exact price escapes me. Um, but knowing that this is part of that war run that they're doing, uh, it's probably going to be a little bit more. Probably, I would say, just guessing, not pulling anything up and looking at it. I mean, 
50, 60 on him, I'd have to imagine 80, 90 yeah. on the vertical six year easy. Yeah. If you're lucky enough to find it in store, of course, that's just a guess. Of course, this was, you know, two years ago, these things were a yeah. package for their advent calendar, so we got some especially interesting things for yeah. you guys. Very happy to get the art hands on that. Yeah. Overall, price and availability in mind, I'm going to stick him out of seven. Hmm. He's very good. I really liked that nose. I really liked the palette, so he brings that up there for me. But availability, I don't think I'm gonna find a bottle. Of no, you're just not just finding not a bottle. So I mean, it's gonna it's gonna tank the price a little bit, yeah. or it's gonna tank the waiting a little bit for that. But it's still absolutely amazing. I mean, just flavor and palette alone. I mean, that's a nine or ten for me. But when you bring in the other things, price, availability, it's gonna bring it down for me a little bit. But if you can find that, scoop that. That's yeah. easy. Honestly, I've been really starting to enjoy some of the pinhook expressions, which yeah. are MGP. Well, they're just, they're a little bit more than just MGP, though. I mean, it is a lot of MGP, but they don't, at least in, in my understanding of Pinhook and how they go about it, they just don't distill their own stuff at all. They don't, they're just blenders. That's what I'm saying. They are just blenders. You're breaking my heart a little bit, breaking my distilled, produced, aged, but all in one place hard. But it's but good. It's good, good stuff. It, it is. is good. And if you're in that hard die camp saying that I only want distilled, aged, produced, one place whiskeys, try this. Give this, this, give this a try. Try the high proof, proof too. Oh yeah, this stuff's fantastic. Yeah, I love. I put the high proof on a higher ranking than this uh, vertical six year though. Yeah, I probably would too. And it's a little easier to get your hands on. Pinhook, do you disagree with us? Do you agree with us? Do you think that we're just silly boys that need to sip more bourbon? Let us know no. your thoughts. That's what I think. <laughs> silly boys that need to sip more bourbon. But please drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. <laughs>